Hello everyone, welcome back. And yes, I have my little bunny ears on. Uh, it's uh, spring tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know, 5.38 or something really like specific. Uh, it's going to be spring, so I got my little bunny ears and my little spring flowers here. Uh, so I did do some spring shopping at Marshall's Winners and Home Sense. And I got some food and uh, some doggy stuff and um, clothes, a little bit of everything. So I'm going to start with uh, this little honey jar. Now I've always wanted one of these and I just never seen one that I really really like. And I saw this beautiful crystal one at uh, HomeSense and it's in the shape of a beehive and I don't know if you can see them but there's these little uh, bees here and there on it and then it has the uh, little wooden little scooper for the honey. And I always uh, use honey for my, my teas in that. So I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It looks so beautiful with the, the golden honey in there. And I think that was $12.99. And I was getting low on honey. So I did buy this uh, from Carlisle, Ontario. Some um, little bees from Ontario made this. And it's that kind of liquid honey. And this was one kilogram of that so it's going to look just absolutely uh beautiful in this one so yes i finally found one that i really do like uh so other food items um i did get the starbucks um instant latte cafe mocha um has little five packets in here for 4.99 and i usually take these to work and um just because they you just throw them in my lunch bag and they'll be good for a while and i did get some uh lindor chocolate oh i love lindor chocolate and this is in fudge swirl thank you so much for cutting down on my carbs um then i did get a couple of jams uh this is uh made in england this is by bramble foods and this is whiskey and ginger marmalade with thick cut tangy oranges and I haven't had marmalade in quite a while and I love the taste of ginger so this is whiskey and ginger so uh, hopefully you can really taste the ginger in that and then I did um, get some uh, cherry jam and this is a product of Italy and I love cherry jam and then I we did get um, we do drink a lot of bubble teas and it has those little um those little gelatin balls in there and uh yeah usually i have to get a spoon and scoop them out um, but i did find some uh, bubble tea straws and they are there's four of them and it comes with a cleaner and that was uh 3.99 so these uh i guess they're getting rid of plastic straws which is good so um to get these metal ones and yeah they're um have quite a wide opening so these um i guess they're called tapioca pearls uh, uh it's a little easier to get get those and then the last oh the one not the last one there's a couple more things um uh, this is a trail mix which is on clearance um but uh, i don't think it expires till this fall so i like to eat gro greek yogurt um, and I like to put fruit on top and with some granola mix. So this one has cranberries, almonds, pumpkin seeds, cashews, pecans, and pistachio kernels. And then uh, I did get a couple of these skinny syrups. Um, uh, I do have a lot of the skinny syrups that you can add to water or iced tea and that's like fruit flavored. Um, I got lots of those, but kind of getting low on ones for tea and coffee. Um, Frank's kind of addic addicted to these too now, so they disappear much more quickly. Uh, so no calories, no sugar, no carbs. Uh, this is caramel fudge waffle cone. And this is, oops, knocked over something. Chocolate coconut macaron. Oops, alrighty. So I did get a couple things for the puppy dogs. Um, I did find the Soothing Pet Shampoo. 
It has aloe and vitamin E. And it is in the ch cherry vanilla scent. And oh boy, does it ever smell good. Um, so this is quite soothing and moisturizing. Um, it uh, repairs cells, calms redness, and reduces dander. And yeah, that's how the smell of it. It just smells so good. I love cherry vanilla smells. And then uh, for this is nose and paw moisturizer. Um, so I probably use this in the winter more than anything. Um, the only ingredients is shea butter, beeswax, hoba oil, and aloe. Now it says for nose and paw. I just put it on their paws. Um, just to help with the with the ice and that sort of thing. So you just, um, it's like a little, oh, I got the label over it. But you just roll it up and then you just rub it on there, little paws. So uh, Abigail has her staples out um, yesterday. So we're just waiting a few more days before we go out into the woods just to make sure it's definitely healing up there. And um, I did get a couple of shirts. Uh, now, I didn't see a lot of clothes that really uh, stuck out or that I uh, really liked. Um, but I did find the sleeveless top. And it's in a very light, I guess, dusty peach, you could say. Uh, so it's sleeveless. It's nice and flowy. And then it's got this uh, lace kind of design on the top there, front and back. And I uh, did get this um, exercise shirt from Under Armour, and they're a very, very good make. Um, and this was just $12.99, which is pretty good for Under Armour. And that's the front of it. Uh, so I do have some black uh, shorts I can wear with this, um, and that's the back there. So it's uh, sleeveless. Um, yeah, that hot weather is going to be here soon enough. And then um, I did get a... A um, few uh, products, uh, makeup and that. Um, now this is from Korea. It's the um, Alpha Hydroxy Foot Peeling Mask. And I do use these a couple times a year. And they actually, like, I have really thick calluses on my feet. And no matter how much um, scrubbing I do, they, it just doesn't get rid of them. Um, so these ones actually do work. So you put these on. They have these little booties, you put the solution in there, and the alpha hydroxy helps kind of break up the, the dead skin. You wear the booties for about an hour, hour and a half, you rinse them off, and then a few days later, your feet literally start peeling away um, and gets rid of some of those harder calluses. So the, it actually does, it does work actually. Um, and then I did get a couple of, uh, um, blush and highlighter uh, products. This is from Becca. So they are going out of business. Um, so this is the collector's edition of their Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. So that's their very famous uh, highlighter. And this is the collector's edition of it. And that's what it looks like. So it's like a peachy champagne color, and it really is very pretty, it's very smooth. So yeah, very, very pretty. And then I did get this blush from Bare Minerals, the Bounce and Blur blush. And this is in Pink Sky. And this is so pretty. This is the color I really like to wear in the summertime. It's a like a pinky coral color. If I can get it open. There we go. It's so pretty. And this one has a really nice sheen to it. Oh, it just feels like satin. But it just has the prettiest sheen to it. And that's what I like for the, the summertime. Or any blush in general. I just like that little bit of sheen to it. And then uh, this is from Opro. It's a leave-in conditioner detangler. And you don't use this on wet or dry hair. It has olive oil, argan oil, tea tree oil, and linseed oil. And it uh, detangles and controls frizz, as shine and softens. It's non-greasy, no buildup, and it moisturizes and nourishes. 
so now that I'm growing my hair out, um, sometimes it just, especially in the summertime, it's just going to be sticking out everywhere. So um, I thought I'd give this a try since it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner because uh, my hair gets so frizzy and full in the summertime. So, and it actually really, really has a really beautiful, clean scent to it. And then the last thing I did get, now this is from... L's Closet, and I believe they're uh, located in Alberta. And I saw on a couple YouTube videos these Winky Lux blushes, and I thought, oh my god, those are gorgeous. Uh, so I was going to order right from Winky Lux, but this is a Canadian company, so I thought I'd just kind of support them. But this is literally what the blushes look like. They are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so they did come in these um, boxes. Now this is a cream blush. That's just the box they came in. Uh, they are quite, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. They are quite bulky, but this kind of thing I just like to set out and look at because they're just so pretty. Now this one is called Dodgy. And they are a cream blush and I have used them and... Uh, they really are beautiful. So at first I thought when you rubbed it in that the flower would kind of like fall apart, but it doesn't. It just keeps its shape. Now usually I use a stipple brush for cream blushes, but I'm just going to use my finger just to show you. So after rubbing it still holds its shape and like I said this one is dodgy. So they're very pigmented. And they do blend out quite nicely. So that's Dodgy. And then the other one is called Crown. And they look similar when you, um, before you swatch them, they kind of look similar. But this one is different. So this one's Dodgy. So this is more of a rose color and this is a kind of peachy nude color. Oh, but they're so beautiful. I've heard really good reviews about these, but I mean, oh my God, I could just stare at those all day. They're so pretty. Alrighty, so that is it. Um, so yeah, it's just um, the Raptors are playing. It's just between quarters there. So, oh uh, yeah, they're not they're not having a good year. Uh, just um, first they had to all move to Tampa, then COVID. Took out a few of the starters now. It's just not been a good year for them. So um, anyway, I'm going to go and support them like you always do. Uh, so I'm going to go finish watching them. So I hope you enjoyed. Yes, it's 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 getting springy. Uh, uh, the weather is cooperating too, though I'm sure we're due for a few more snowstorms. But it's only uh, it's only mid mid March, so anything could happen. So anyway, everyone take care. Uh, be kind to each other, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.